In a previous video in this playlist, we installed File Server Resource Manager and sort of went into some of the different features that it has. In this particular video, we're going to set up a quota that's going to set up an alert to the user when they've reached that limit to the amount of data that they can upload to the server. Now, quotas are done on a per volume uh, type of a set. So that basically means that you don't set the quota on the shared folder, you set the quota at the volume level. So if we right click on our C drive, the first thing we need to do is go to properties, go to quota, and then we need to enable quota management. So let's go ahead and click apply. And we're going to click yes or OK to that particular message, just warning us about what we can do. Now we can set a deny disk space once they hit a certain limit, or we can just go ahead and log the event and it will just be a warning. So let's go ahead and click OK on that. And now we're going to go into File Server Resource Manager, where we're going to go ahead and set up a quota alert. So let's go to Tools and File Server Resource Manager. There we are, and now we're in Quota Management. We're going to right-click on Quotas and choose Create a Quota. Now it's going to ask for the path. Let's go ahead and choose our C drive. Click OK. Now let's go ahead and choose Define Custom Quota Properties. You could go ahead and pick from a template if you want, but we're just going to take it one step further and go to Custom Properties. We're going to choose the soft quota option. So let's go ahead and click on that instead of the hard quota. So that basically is just for monitoring. It's not going to actually uh, stop anyone from doing anything. Then we're going to go to our limit and we're going to choose 500 megabytes. Now we'll click under notification. Under notification thresholds, we'll click add. We'll leave it at 85%. So that means that 85% of 500 megabytes are going to get a warning. Now we could set up an email message if we have an email server that we can connect to, or we can just go to event log and we can set up an event that the administrator will be aware of. And we can see the log entry of what it's going to say. It's going to say the user, name of the owner of those files has exceeded the quota threshold. We could also set it up so it could go to a command and run a command once that user gets there to that uh, level, such as we could delete some files if we wanted to, which probably wouldn't be a good idea. And we can also set up these uh, reports that can be generated as well. Event logs just go into the event log itself in Windows Server. However, a report creates an actual HTM file uh, that can then be emailed off to the administrator when these kinds of things happen. So the event log is probably the simplest of all alerts. Now, if you have a syslog server, then you can have the event sent to the syslog server, and when uh, this kind type of threshold is met, you can have it email you if you want to do that outside of using the email tab option here. So let's go ahead and click OK, and then we'll click OK, and we'll click Create. We're going to choose to save the custom quota without creating a template, but if you feel like you're going to use this again and again, then you do want to create the template and give it a name. But we're just going to use it one time, so we'll go ahead and click OK. So at this point, once the user reaches that 500 megabyte limit, then it'll go ahead and generate an alert and then the administrator needs to take action at that time if they choose. If we changed it from a soft to a hard uh, type of quota, then basically what would happen is it would stop the user from saving any additional files once it reached 100% of their limit. So that's how we set up quotas using File Server Resource Manager in Windows Server 2016.